What's that there? That's a... Is that a Herc? This might be cool. I'm gonna go down with him. Pull up, pull up. Oh, he's getting shot at by something. What shot at him? Right here. Just protecting him. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> oh, that was cool as f Oh no. This is not clear, this is not clear, this is not clear. It's not clear, it's not clear, it's not clear, it's not clear. Oh, thank god, yes. Yes! Suck it! Oh, G'day everyone and welcome back to the Warthog Project. Today's video is part three in the basic series. Today we're going to be talking about LEDs and how to get the data out of DCS and into your cockpit. Alright, so we're back out on the workbench today. All we're going to do is elaborate on this a little bit. Um, we've got a push button. This one here is what I used for the Master Caution. And we've got a single LED. I don't even know what colour it is. We're going to find that out. So all we're going to do today is get this LED and this button working together as a Master Caution light in DCS. Alright, here we are in the Arduino IDE. You would have remembered this sketch from the previous video. Uh, all we had in there was the two position switch and the three position switch. All we're going to do now is insert a push button switch for the master caution and an LED. You just need to go to the control reference library to get the code for that and cut and paste it in here. So you just go to your, wherever you save DCS BIOS, I've saved mine right there. It will be in scripts, DCS BIOS, documents, control reference. Again, just save it as a bookmark in your web browser. Now you just go to the A10C, and we'll find the panel we want. You can scroll through them all and find the button you want, or you can just go to category filter. It will be in the UFC. Master caution lights right there. So we can just cut and paste this into our Arduino code right here. And we just need to find the master caution release button. Master caution reset right there. Alright, so we just need to make the Master Caution light one of the digital pins, we'll just make it two, and the Master Caution reset button can be three. That's as simple as it is in DCS BIOS. All I need to do now is connect the Nano to the computer and load this code into it. We'll just grab that, and click Upload. Alright, so this is the switch that I use for my Master Caution LED. It's like a cheap arcade one you can find on eBay. They're designed to have a 24 volt incandescent bulb in them. Um, you can just pop the cover off here, and you can see that's where a bulb usually would be inserted. Um, all I do is grab an LED and jam it in there and solder it to those pins. So if you just grab an LED and you bend the legs like this, you can fit it in there, and then it's LED based and then you just put the cover back over the top and you'll have a backlit button which will flash just like the Master Caution. The two pins on the outside here are for the LED and then the two outside pins to the card for the button. That's it. So that LED is in there temporarily. What I usually do is take the holder of the incandescent bulb out and um, sort of bend this around it, but I couldn't find any of those holders left, so it's just resting in there now. Just sort of, as long as the metal contacts are touching the metal contacts in there, it should work. However, if I was putting it in the cockpit, I'd make sure it was stuck in there. I'd, I'd probably even 3D print a little thing in there so it jams in there and is perfect. In fact, I might, what I might do looking at it now, I might 3D print a new holder and actually put an SMD on there because they're a bit brighter. Anyway, but for this test, that should do the job. All we have to do now is connect it to the computer, fire up DCS, and it should work. Again, before you fire up DCS, make sure you turn on the DCS BIOS command script, and you have to make sure you minimize that, but don't close it. 
here we are back again in the DCS Instant Action Mission. You'll see here that when I push that button, the Master Caution resets. And if we scroll down to the Signal Lamp Light Test, you'll see that when I push that button, you get the LED Illuminate. What I'm going to do now is put another LED on the board just to show you something cool. So I'll disconnect this. So I'm just going to solder this straight to the board. Alright, so I connected that to pin number 4. Alright, so we jump back in the control reference and now we're under A10C and we'll go to we'll go to external aircraft model. And you can see that you can actually not just do lights in the cockpit, you can do all the lights that are outside on the aircraft as well. I use this in my cockpit for external lights on the left and right console so I can tell when the outside lights are on. And you can see that every light here is working. So we'll just grab the strobe light here. And we will cut and paste that in here onto pin number four. Upload that to the board. Might help if I actually connected the board to the computer. And then we'll fire up DCS. Alright, so here we are again in the instant action machine. And you can see that that LED is now perfectly in sync with the external light on the left wing there. It's really cool because it's getting the data straight from DCS. Sometimes if my left wing tip gets shot off, that light won't actually work in my actual cockpit. It's just one of those things you don't really think about in cockpit building, how you can get data from the actual external aircraft model. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. The next one in the basic series is going to be all about pots and rotor encoders and how to connect them to DCS using DCS BIOS and also using a generic USB device. Thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you're watching this within about two hours of it being released, check the link in the description. I will be live over on Twitch right now. Thanks heaps, legends. I'll see you on the next one. 76 viewers, that's awesome. That's 76 people that aren't watching Amaranth and a bunch of porn stars in a hot tub right now. What are you doing, man? Why are you not going to look at Amaranth's porn star super right now? Stop being a flight sim nerd.